Hello everybody, I'm here to do some MPG comparisons with my lifted Eco Diesel and a couple of tunes. I have three ECMs total, three computers total. One is the stock tune that I just got back from Ram. It has the new emissions flash on it. And then I have one that has the SFT stage one tune on it. And I have an ECM that has my GDE stage one tune on it. I'm gonna do an MPG loop and I will show you the difference in fuel economy between my stock, the SFT tune, and the GDE tune. I'm gonna fill up right now, just top off. I'm gonna do the TFL truck method and that's uh, fill it up, once it clicks, wait 30 seconds and then top it off again. My tank's full. I've only got about 45 miles since I filled it up, so it should fill up pretty quickly here. Okay, I'll wait 30 seconds now. I'm just at this grocery store here in Saratoga Springs, Utah. All right, I've got about 10 seconds left. Okay, I'll top off. Topped off. Let's start the loop. All right, in my truck, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Not that it matters, I'm gonna reset my MPG here. So let's go reset this trip. I wanna see what it does as far as fuel economy. This is the stock tune. Let's go hit the road. And real quick, I'm going the speed limit and I will set it by cruise control. So I'm planning on doing four parts this video. The first part stock, cruise control. Second part, SFT tune, cruise control. Third part, GDE, cruise control. And then the fourth part is going to be probably GDE, uh, which is the last tune, plus uh, hypermiling techniques. So we'll see what I can do by changing my driving style, what kind of fuel economy I can get on this loop. Anyway, let's start with the stock loop now. So stock loop, post emissions reflash. Wish I had a little better way to mount this up here. So, uh, we're going to run into the same thing. This is going to be the exact same loop. I'm going around a lake in Utah called Utah Lake, and it's 90 miles back to this gas station. I'll be using the same pump and uh, hand calculating it going off the 90 miles. So here we go. Hopefully every trip is identical as far as distractions. Now I have 37 inch tires and a six inch lift on this truck. Uh, I know my RPMs are lower. I have a 355 rear end axle differential. Uh, my RPMs are lower than most. Uh, it's uh, a little bit higher at 1500 RPMs at 55 miles an hour. It hasn't. If I go up to 60, it'll shift down to another gear, but I want to go the posted speed limit to make it as similar as possible between the tunes. When I hypermile, I'm gonna be changing my speed the entire time, so. But we'll get to that in part four. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will also compare this to my dad's truck who has a, a 392 rear end. I know his RPMs, when we're going 75 on the freeway, his RPMs are about 600 to 800 higher than mine. Uh, and I know his fuel economy isn't as good on the freeway as mine. He has stock tires and stock lift, and uh, his RPMs are about 600 higher than mine because of the tires that I have and the 355 rear differential. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I'll keep you updated as I go through this video and uh, show you what we get. So far we have traveled only 3.1 miles. Okay, I'm changing it. I'm going to go five miles an hour above the speed limit on cruise control just because I'm going to slow down traffic otherwise. So five miles an hour above, set to cruise control. It'll still be the same for all three runs. All right, time-wise, I'm not going to have enough time to do the full 90-mile loop. So I'm going to go to from Saratoga Springs to Alberta, Utah, and then back. So it'll be about 20 minutes less time and about 20 miles less so I'm at 60 miles an hour that's five miles above the posted 55 speed limit 
Uh, one thing to note here is it's not shifting down. It's staying about 1800 RPMs there, or 1750. I am pretty sure the once I get the other tunes in place, it will shift down. Uh, I will be doing the transmission tunes as well, just so you're aware. Uh, just well, I will have the SFT transmission tune on. That's a transmission tune I've paid for. The GDE and the SFT engine tunes I've paid for as well, but I bought GDE first. Anyway, back to go. I probably should slow down on the corners a little bit here. <laughs> but I want I want it to be as fair as possible. Just let the truck do its thing. Keep it in cruise control at. 60 miles an hour right now for the majority of this stretch. Okay, I am 11 and a half miles into the trip so far. Still 55 miles an hour. Still on this side of the lake. It's such a pretty view over here. Uh, I have, my truck is the Laramie version. It's 2014, I think I said that already, but um, yeah, just keep it on cruise control right at 60. If you can see that down there, right at 60 miles an hour on cruise control. All right, so coming down this long hill, it did finally shift into the eighth gear on its own with the stock tune. Uh, we're about 1200, 1300 RPMs, which is where my truck likes to be. But this is pretty hilly, so yep, there it shifted back up. And up again, so two gears going up that little hill, hill there. The stock transmission tune and the stock engine tune does that a lot, and that's where you lose some of the fuel economy. Uh, it'll upshift pretty quickly when you're going uphill. All right, we just hit the 20 mile mark, 20.2 now. We're at the truck computer is showing, switch this, 23.5 miles per gallon right now. So 23.5 miles a gallon at 20.5 miles. Now this, this way is slightly more downhill than on the way back, so I'm curious to see how it does on the way back. I imagine we'll probably get about 25 on the way down, but we'll see. Right now, 23, 24 average, uh, we're going up slightly. All right, we just hit 25 miles on the trip. I can tell you it's taken a, a lot of self-control to keep it from, uh, or basically getting it to shift into eighth gear. Uh, it really bothers me that it sits and hovers at uh, 17, 16, 1700 RPMs in seventh gear when it can go to eighth gear, and it does at different speeds. Um, anyway, I can trick it to go into eighth gear if I sped up to 63 and then let off the gas and go into eighth gear, and then I can go back down to 60, but I'm letting the truck do its thing. When I do my hypermile loop, I will do stuff like that. But this time, I'm just letting the truck do its thing and uh, seeing what it gets. We're at 23.8 miles per gallon, according to the computer. Last time I hand calculated, it was only 0.3 miles per gallon off, so I'm assuming that's gonna be pretty close, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so the speed limit changed to 65. I set it at 70. Come on, downshift. Going to eighth. <laughs> so, 70 miles an hour for part of it. We'll see what it does. It's not going into eighth again. It's hovering right at 2,000. I am going slightly uphill, so that's why. I do miss my tunes, though. Having my truck in the shop for two months was a pain. Uh, I'm excited to get the tunes back and to test them more thoroughly which is why I'm doing this. All right, the speed limit's changing back down to 55 right here, so I'm just gonna cancel cruise control, coast down to 60 again. All right, just finishing flipping around, and we will start the journey back. Once I get high enough, I'm just gonna hit resume on the cruise control here. Uh, on the the cool thing is about the the tunes is you resume for much sooner all right resuming to 45 all right got a lot of dead bugs on my windshield now that's pretty gross anyway so construction back here speed limit's been 35 so i'm going 40 it's saying in sixth gear at about 
1200 RPMs. Uh, we're at 24.5 miles per gallon, 60.5 miles now into the trip. And I just hit a red light, so we'll have to stop at this light. Um, almost there, three more miles. All right, just pulled in, I'm at the same pump, same gas station, 25.4 MPG is what the trip meter's showing, 64.3 miles on that trip. Hour and 13 minutes, average miles per hour was 53. Okay, let's go uh, fill up, see what happens. All right, here we go. Let's hit start on the diesel. And we'll fill her up. I used the video to count to 30, just so you know. So I'll fill up, wait for it to click off, count to 30, and then try again. But I'll leave the video going. There we go. Okay, wait for 30 seconds. I'll top off. 15, 15 seconds, halfway there. All right. Okay. 2.618. 2.618. Let's get that cat. I don't have another camera to show it, so I'm just going to take a screenshot of my phone on the calculator. All right, so the GPS showed 64 miles exactly. So that was 24.4 miles per gallon on that loop. And there's a screenshot of that calculation there for you. So stock computer, 24.4 miles per gallon. Stay tuned for part two with the SFT tune.